most eloquent speeches I've heard in a long time. I want to congratulate the comrade, the sister who just spoke. I've come from the House of Commons. We're having the debate on the environment. Let me make it clear. Labour tonight will be voting the House of Commons to declare a climate emergency. We have supported in solidarity Extinction Rebellion in the actions that they've taken and we've invited them in to advise us in the development of our policies on how we decarbonise our economy. But we want to make absolutely clear, just as they do, that this will be a just transition in which workers' jobs will be protected, their living conditions, their wages and their rights at work as we move from a fossil-based economy into one that's based upon alternative energy. But you know, you know as well as I do, that as long as this Tory government remains in power, they will continue with a carbon economy. And that's why I congratulate all of those who've been campaigning against fracking across our country. We joined the fracking picket lines. And Labour has made this absolute commitment. When we go into power, there will be no fracking in the UK whatsoever. <laughs> Let me just say this, this government may well by this autumn be out of power. We desperately need our Labour government. In the next couple of months it looks as though they will depose Theresa May and then have an election and it will be a shift almost certainly even further to the right. And God help us, even Boris Johnson moving into number 10. What we need now is to ensure that we will not accept that, that we will seek an early general election in October. Because we desperately need now a change of government, because so many of our fellow citizens, first of all tonight, 5,000 of them sleeping on our streets, over 500 of those rough sleepers having died over the last two years, a million of our people on council housing waiting lists, Four million children living in poverty. Two-thirds of them in households where someone's at work. 1.6 million food parcels handed out last year. And yes, a million pensioners living in severe poverty. 30,000 of them die in cold-related conditions every winter. And yet, we're the fifth richest country in the world. And the reason this is happening is because of the Tory tax giveaways to the rich and the corporations, but also because the corporations and the rich are avoiding and evading their taxes. And you know, during the last general election, they accused me of having a magic money tree. Well, there is a magic money tree. It's in the Cayman Islands, and when we go to power, we're going to dig it up, and they're going to bring it here, and they're going to pay their taxes.